Hi and welcome to our video on expanding today for algebra. What we're going to do by the end of this video, we should hopefully be able to understand and apply the distributive law to expanding algebraic expressions. And then we're going to look at expanding and then simplifying expressions where required. So we'll look at how we can do that. All right, first and foremost, let's have a look at what the distributive law is in regards to expanding. So if we have a look at this statement here, and this is what the distributive law actually states, is that when we have a term outside the brackets here, uh, the term A, and it's multiplied by any terms that are inside the brackets, um, say B plus C, when we multiply that out, we get this AB plus AC. So effectively, what this actually means, this little, uh, the this A here, it actually means a times b plus c if we want to think of it um, in that sense excuse my a there um, now what we're actually doing is we're taking we're distributing each of the the term sorry the term outside the brackets with each of the terms inside okay and we and we um, we add them together um, and we can use our integers the laws of multiplying with integers to determine what our um, our sign is here but if we look at um, how we get the AB, so we get this term here, so we get the A, and we actually multiply that by the B, and that gives us AB, and then we actually multiply that by the C as well to give us AC. Now I'm going to go through some examples, and hopefully it should make a little bit of little bit of sense when I go through the example. So it's a really good good way of just identifying the pattern here and 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 following the following the procedure basically. All right, so let's have a look at some of the examples that we've got here. So we'll, we'll keep the distributive law up in the top here so you can actually see the distributive law up in the top here, and that's going to allow you to, to, to move along with that. And I've got a little, uh, little guy over here just telling us that each term inside the brackets is multiplied by the term in front of them. All right, so we've got here, we've got 4 multiplied, if there's no sign, it's multiplied by a plus 3. Okay, so what we do is we actually... We're going to multiply 4 by a first, so 4 times a, and then we're going to multiply 4 by plus 3. All right, so it's really important that we're multiplying this term by the plus 3, so that's, so that's plus 4 times 3. So we can think of the, the plus, 2 plus is making a plus there. So that gives us 4a plus 12. All right, let's go to the second example. We've got 2 now multiplied by 3b plus 2. So now we've got the same similar scenario. We've got the term outside the brackets, and we're going to multiply by each of those terms. So we've got 2 times 3b, and we've also got plus 2 times 2. So 2 times 3b gives me 6b, plus 2 times 2 gives me... 4. So you can see there I've just multiplied the term outside with each of the terms inside. Okay, over here we've got, now we've actually got a, um, a pronumeral or a variable outside the bracket. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to multiply that by both of those. So we've got, here we've got y times y, and then we've got y plus y times 4. So y times y well, what does that give me? That gives me y squared, and y times 4 gives me plus 4y. So you can see there the distributive law in, um, in work there. Um, really simply, we'll go through a couple more examples, and we're going to use some negatives in the next examples. <clears throat> All right, so if we have a look at our next examples, we've got, now we've got uh, a a coefficient on our pronumeral outside the bracket. So we've got 3c times 2c. So that's 3 times 2. 3 times 2 gives me 6. Oop. Let me erase that. So we've got 3c times 2c. And then we've got plus 3c here multiplied by minus. So a plus times a minus actually gives me a minus. And then we've got 3c times 4. So 
3C times 2C gives me 6. We multiply the 2, 6. C times C gives me 6C squared. And then minus 3C times 4 gives me minus 12C. So remembering I've got a plus here multiplied by minus. So my final answer here, this whole answer here, minus 12C, that includes, sorry, that should include the, um, the C, is minus 12 C. So I'll just rewrite that. I'll erase that and rewrite that. So that will be minus 12c. All right, now over here now we've actually got a negative number outside the bracket. So we're going to be doing some work with multiplying with a negative number. So we've got minus 3 times 4a. So we write that minus 3 times 4a. And then we've got a minus times a minus. So a minus times a minus actually gives me a plus so we've got plus and then we just multiply the two numbers three times six so minus three times four a gives me minus three times four is minus twelve and then i've got a and then i've got plus three times six well that gives me plus eighteen okay thank you for watching that video watch the next video for how we're going to expand and simplify using the distributive law